In a previous class, we have finished the. Come on, please. Come on. In a previous class, we have finished the paragraph formatting today, and in a paragraph formatting, we have discussed one by one all these points, and then coming to the tab, we have finished the tabs. Right now, today we are going to talk about styles. Right now, we are going to talk about style. First of all, what style is? You should know the style. Here, we can say that style is used for quickly and fastly formatting your document. Okay, and this style is available in 2007. In 2003, it does not have a style. One more benefit of this style advantages there that there are a lot of formatting. By one click, all the formatting is going to be applied. Okay, by one click, number of formatting is going to be applied, just like on a text, on a paragraph, if you're going to do so, or on a list. Okay. Right now we are going to talk about the style. So before uh, talking the style, before we are going to discuss the style, you should know that this is used for formatting. Okay. The style is used for formatting. We have discussed character formatting or not? We have discussed paragraph formatting or not? We have discussed tab or border these things or not? Okay. We can arrange all these by one style. Number of things I have performed, number of formatting I have done. By one click, number of formatting is going to be applied. Okay, today we are going to talk about first of all here accessing the style task pen. Next one, we are going to create our style, then applying a style, modifying a style, deleting a style, and clear on formatting. One by one, we are going to discuss all these. First of all, accessing the style task pen. If you want, if you want to access the style task pen, so we have a shortcut key, and that is. Style task pen and that is Alt plus Shift plus Control plus S. By the help of that, we can reach to the style task pen. Okay, here before coming here, right now, first of all, come to the Word document and you will see here inside that I'm going to remove all the tabs, I don't need. Clear all. Done. Okay. This is the style. This is the quick style gallery. This is known as what? Quick style gallery. This area is known as a quick style gallery. And in a quick style gallery, you can see that number of styles are available. Okay. Number of styles are available. There are some some styles are for character. Some are for paragraph. Some are for character and paragraph food. They are style for what? For par paragraph inside it in a quick style pen some style is for paragraph some is for character and some are for style and uh, so, some are for paragraph and character both okay right now if you want to see if i'm going to show you here that which style is for what so just here five, 10 paragraphs okay right now here if i'm going to apply one style on that so go over there you can see that formatting done or not by one click formatting applied or not Okay, here coming down on another paragraph I'm going to apply. So here this is character formatting. This is what? Here this is the strong is what? Character formatting. For character formatting selection is necessary or not? Okay, I'm going to select the text and then I'm going to apply. Applied or not? Okay, so some styles are for character, some are for paragraph. Okay, look over here. If down here this is for character formatting. Select the text and then apply it. Select the text and go over there. And then apply this one. So this is character formatting or not? Okay. So right now here, if you want to see which style is for character, which style is for paragraph, so press the shortcut T and go to the style task pen. Alt Control Shift S. Style task pen open or not? Okay. This is a style task pen. Here, if you want to see here, while this P sign is showing, while this P sign is showing, so it's mean or Q sign reverse Q sign. It's mean this is for paragraph. This style is for what? for paragraph while a sign is showing means this is for character while a sign is there it's mean for character while q and a both are there it's mean link text means for character and paragraph both while q and a is there it's mean for both for link text okay which is known as a link text okay we have seen there are a lot of all the styles are available here if you want to apply on paragraph so go over there and apply for par paragraph so you can see that it is applied for paragraph or not okay move inside a paragraph this is for a character so for character selection is necessary or not selection done quote so right now you can see that it has been changed okay or if i'm going to apply select the 
paragraph and apply so you can see that it has been applied or not okay right now the main thing is we have access to the quick style file right now we are going to create a style okay we are going to create a style so while creating a style click on this one new style click on what new style so while we are going to click on that this open or not okay for every style we are going to give name that this style is for what for paragraph this is for character or this is my style 1 or my style 2 what do you name you can give a name for that so let's suppose first of all for what we are going to create for paragraph or for character paragraph okay here i am going to use my para para formatting okay the name of the style is what my para formatting you can see that or i am going to zoom okay my para formatting next one is style type for what you are going to create a style for paragraph style type is what for what you going to create a style and that is for what for para okay number of things are there for five things we can create a style one is for paragraph another one is for character third one is for link text means i have told you character and for character and paragraph both which are involved inside it fourth one is for table and last one is for list okay but right now we will discuss four inside it we will discuss four because table we have not studied yet okay while we study a table i am going to create a style for that let's okay? okay right now first of all for paragraph for paragraph okay right now style based on means you are using old style and making changes inside it and create a new one no i am going to start from normal i am going to start from normal means everything will be simple normal okay right now here i am coming over this uh, style for the following paragraph but first of all two three style i am going to create then i am going to talk about this option okay here font which font you want to use for this style i am going to use font for this style this one okay size of the text will be what yeah it will be 18 and line spacing will be what here one line spacing this is one or not here you want left alignment right alignment or center alignment it is available here or not you want underline yes i want underline here the color of the text is going to be changed to the blue yeah dark blue done and furthermore you want paragraph spacing available here or not and that is right indent or not sorry left indent okay if you want to increase left indent possible there or not done so style created or not click on okay the style name is what what my para formatting click on okay the style created you can see that here my para formatting is available okay here in on any paragraph if you want to apply this style so go inside a paragraph and in a quick style pen it will be available my para formatting this one my para my para formatting is there or not yes. click on that it is going to apply it or not if you want to apply for three paragraph four paragraph select them okay select them and apply that so it is going to be set here i am going to write a number of paragraphs here is equal to rand and 50 paragraphs done control a and control one here line spacing one i have created right now here on which paragraph you want to two or three paragraphs select them okay and apply the style my para formatting available or not so click on that it has been applied so quickly and fastly format your document or not okay style makes your document that you going to quickly and fastly format it okay that one style i have created but one problem in this style or you can say that benefit in this style yeah what is there because style have a pro and cons advantages and disadvantages what advantages i am writing the paragraph okay i am going to press enter same style is there or not while i am going to press enter same style is there or not why this is coming i want while i am going to enter it will come to the normal it will come to the normal so how we are going to adjust this how we are going to adjust this how okay go over to the style here we have also going to discuss modification in the style or not how we are going to modify a style okay one is applying style right now i'm talking about modifying style okay how we are going to modify right click on a style and there is a modify there or not click on modify you want to make changes in a style okay what right click on a style and here modify is there or not modify click on that so style again open or not same okay here one option is there style for the following paragraph style for the following paragraph it's mean while you press enter at the end of the paragraph so which style will be followed which style will be followed and what is written 
my para my para formatting or not means same style means same style or not okay while i'm pressing enter same formatting is there while again i'm pressing enter same formatting is there or not okay but if i want no it will come to the normal while i'm going to press enter it will come to the normal so what i'm going to do here select normal done click on okay apply right now if i'm going to write a text and i'm going to press enter here pressing enter so it come to the normal or not okay so you can you can change or oh, where we are going to use that where we are going to use that come to here at the top here one heading title style is there one heading title style is there and if i'm going to apply that here this is by name of a uh, title is there or not title so if i'm going to you can see that here i'm totally impressed from this style you can see the text is there line is also under there okay but this is while you going to press enter here at the end coming to the normal or not so the same option has been applied for the following paragraph which style will be there normal okay here one more thing you can see that the underline is showing but this is not an underline you can see that this is the underline showing or not but this is not an underline what is that come on think Hmm? I don't know. It is basically a border. After a paragraph, border is there. What is there? Border is there. Okay. I am going to create a, such a style for paragraph. I am going to create such a style for paragraph. Okay. So go over. Right now, I am going to create so. Okay. Go over to styles, new styles, and by what? My title for book. Okay, the name of the the name of the style is what? My title for book. And here, it will be for paragraph, yes or not? Yes. And coming from the normal, I am going to design by myself. Okay, from normal. Here, what is going to be there? The font is going to be utilized like this. I am going to use this font. Okay, and the color of the text is going to be blue. Yeah, blue. Okay. Furthermore, here font size slightly increase. 24 yeah and here you want paragraph spacing increase or decrease decrease you can see that it is decreasing or not okay and i need underline over there a line which is known as a border so it is not here border is here no so go over to the format go over to the format borders are here yeah so right now here from there select okay a border which type of border you want to create so you can create a number of borders i want to create a single line and the width of that is you can adjust the width to uh okay quarter or two and a half or nearly equal to it depends upon your choice color of the border will be dark blue or light blue and where it will be under the paragraph or not so this is under the paragraph under the paragraph click on ok so line created or not but it is far away from the text too much far away from the text or not too much far away from the text what i'm going to do go over to the format and here fonts oh sorry paragraph okay what option is there that it is uh here zero okay no problem line spacing zero paragraph spacing line spacing 1.5 make line spacing single main line spacing single so it is closer to that or not get closer to that or not but after enter after enter it should make some space over there while I am going to press enter, title finish, some space is necessary or not? So this I am going to increase after paragraph, it should be increased, increased or not? Okay? Please put it off. Here, right now click on OK, style created. But one problem in this style is there. I have created a style or not? But one problem in this style. Here, I have written title, but if I am going to press enter, same style is there or not? We modify. No, we have not selected the option for the following paragraph which style will be followed. Okay, so change that to the normal. So right now modify the style. Which style is there by name of my title for book or not? Right click on that, modify and select which option? Style for the following paragraph will be normal. Select that and click on OK. Done right now. I have written text and pressing enter. So it come to the normal or not? Got that? 
Okay, so we have created a style for paragraph which have a border and these things. Right, no, I am going to create a style for a uh, character formatting. For what? Right. Character formatting. Okay. Here, yeah. first of all, go over to the styles and new style and style my character formatting. Good question. That is lecture number one and two or three questions. I have told you five or six times. Characters are while you're writing the text. So this is character. But when you press enter, it becomes paragraph. When you press enter, it becomes a paragraph. Or combination of number of characters. Okay? Is known as what? Paragraph. Okay. Next one here is next one is style for what? Here style type what? Character style type what? Character select a character. Which type of formatting you want? Here right now I want the text font will be like this and size of the fonts will be 20 or you can increase that to 24 and furthermore it will be bold yes underline you need or color of the text I am going to make it orange and it is for Latin text complex script or all. You can see, you understand that or not? Latin text, com complex script or all, all scripts. Means one is for English, complex script is for Dari, Pashto, Arabic and Persian. Okay, so this is, if you're going to use that, okay, or means I, I'm going to use for all. Okay, for all, right now click on OK. Style created or not? By name of what? My paragraph for meeting style. My, sorry, my character for meeting style. Okay. Yeah. Right now, I'm going to while I'm going to apply this style, so I'm going to select the text. I'm going to select the text. Click on OK. Done. Style created or not? By name of my character formatting style or not? Okay. Here, how I'm going to apply that? While select the text and just clicking on that. Got that? Okay. Just select the text and apply that. Okay, because it is character formatting, and I've shown you that while character formatting is there, my that is yeah, A is there showing or not? A means what? Character formatting or not? While Q sign is there, so it means paragraph formatting. While Q and A both is there, link text means for both. For both, a formatting is available. Clear? Okay. Right now, I'm going to create a style which have a which have a small caps character formatting but it have what small cap I effect is there which is known as a small cap you remember shortcut key for that shortcut key for that shift plus what no small cap I'm not going to talk about change keys control shift uh, that is K control shift K small cap if you remember so yeah. <laughs> okay. Here, yeah, if I'm going to use small cap, shortcut key for that, control shift K. Small cap applied. Okay. Control shift. I'm using press alt. So small cap applied or not? But here, in a small cap, if you remember, a character or alphabet is capital. So it looks bigger as compared to that other or not? Okay, so right now I'm going to apply effect on that. On which? On this. On this style, my character formatting. Okay, so go over, right click on that, modify. Right click on that, modify. Okay, this is available here? No. Small cap is available here? No. no. So what we are going to do, go over to the format and go over to the fonts. Okay, and here select what? Small caps. Understand? Right now, you want character spacing inside it also in expand? Character spacing. So also available character spacing. What do you want? Expand. So how much expand? Or 3.33 or 4. Nearly equal to 4 inches. Okay, right now 4 points. Click on OK. Click on OK. Right now I'm going to create. Okay, this font I don't need. I, I'm going to change the font. And the font I'm going to apply here. Air black. This one fonts. Okay. Here, yeah, click on OK. So that has been applied. Character formatting applied. And it have what? Small cap or not? In fact, is there small cap? Is there or not? See the home. Word home. You can see that? 
okay this word okay if you want to apply on any character so just select that and apply that understand clear okay so we have created a style for character we have created a style for paragraph or not okay right now the next one here some options the the style which we have created the styles which we have created it is not available for new document remember that look over here the style which we have created is available here my paragraph formatting for book or my character formatting for the book is available okay so why why is it not available over there we have created a style but it's not available for the the new document please don't talk here right now while we create a style or we modify a style i want that the style will be available for new documents so how it is possible to do so this one style my character formatting i want that this will be available for new document for every new document it will be available so right click on that modify modify and here one option is there <coughs> if you can see down here down you can see that here new document based on this template or not this one option make this style available for all documents for all new documents this option will make this style available for all new documents clarify okay i am going to click on that and click on okay done right now style this style will be available in new document control n shortcut key for new document or alt f and new okay here you can see it here right now while i am going to click my character formatting style or not available here or not okay so before i am going to apply the style right now i am going to write text so on the basis of same style is there or not okay if i am going to here here if i am going to write like that so same style is followed because of first of all i have selected the style first of all i have selected the style if i am going to make it normal okay right now no, here first of all enter it and coming to the normal here or subtitles right now style change or not okay so if you want to create a style that will be available for new document possible to do so okay or here here is equal to rand and i'm going to write 20 paragraphs or 30 paragraphs control alt alt 1 means line spacing one i need okay you want to apply for specific format for specific paragraph select that and apply that clarified okay that is a style for a paragraph and character formatting right now here one more option here is here if a style is there and you're going to do modification i want a first line indentation you know first line indentation or not three type of indentation is there normal indentation in which left and right is coming before and after second one is first line indentation and third one is hanging indentation so if you want that in a paragraph i want first line indentation okay in a style in a style i want first line indentation so how are you going to create so here some some styles are there which have that not here here okay i am going to go over a style of for paragraph uh, for paragraph here yeah this one is modify it right now here this having a paragraph formatting or not for paragraph here first line indentation is there not hanging it's a normal indentation left indentation is there just left indentation is there if i want first line indentation so go over to the format and paragraph is there or not right now you need first line so select first line how much 1.7 Create it, okay. And furthermore, you want before and after means left and right. Left and right. I want left is going to be decreased. Okay. Click on OK. Applied it. Line spacing. You want one or double means 1.5. Okay. Apply that here. Click on OK. I'm going to apply such a style right now. Here, the style is modified. The style is modified, and I want to do for this paragraph that was. First line indentation is there or not? First line indentation is there or not? Got that? If you want to do before spacing or before paragraph and after paragraph spacing, also possible. Also possible in a style. Clear? Okay. Right now we have created a style for paragraph for a character. The third one is for list or for link text. Means for both. 
Okay, if you want to create for both, also possible. Go over to style and new style, and here means style type. What for link paragraph and character, paragraph and character. You want for both, so make changes and it is going to be created. Make changes and it is going to be created. Changing the font, changing the alignment, changing the font size. Furthermore, indentation, line spacing. So this makes paragraph and character formatting both. Clarified? Okay. One more style type is there, which is a list table. We are going to discuss while we create a table. Not right now. Okay. Right now, list. You know, in a previous class or previous previous, we have discussed list or not numbers. Okay. So here for list, one simple style is there. For list, one simple style is there. Which style is there? If I'm going to press enter and I'm going to start list, this one is coming or not? I want to format this one to three. I want to format this one to three. How are you going to format that? By help of style for list. Style for list. Okay. What I'm going to do here? No need of text. Just one. Go over to the style and create a new style for what? Yeah. Style for list and give a name for that. My list one. Okay, right now here, yeah. what changes you want? You want to change font here, yeah. change font. So font is going to be changed from here. Okay, for this one, for list, it is going to change that. You want to change the size? Yes, 24. Okay, next one here, it will be bold. Yeah, it will be bold. Furthermore, color, I'm going to change to the blue, light blue or dark blue. Okay, blue. Furthermore, I'm going to here. It is for Latin, yes, Latin. You want list bullets, so it, if you want one, two, three, or A, B, C possible from here. What do you want? Okay, you want list one, two, three, or A, B, C. I want one, two, three. Okay, for one, two, three. Furthermore, you can also increase the indent. You can see that here. Okay, the indent can also be increased or decreased from here. No, I want done formatting done. Okay. And this is for level one created. For level one, how we'll go to the next level? Pressing tab or not? Pressing tab in a list, you have pressed enter and then press tab. Level level two is showing or not? Okay, so you can adjust for level two. This is level two. This is level two. You can also adjust to second level here. Level two. It is going to be arranged. Also, this will show like same. Okay, font will be this one and furthermore bold size will be 20, 20. Let's suppose 20. Okay, the color of the text will be here blue dark blue here done and click on ok so style created or not click on ok right now you can see that list has been formatted or not list has been formatted i think so first time you are seeing the list like that okay so if i'm going to write text okay enter i'm going to press tab so a is coming or not clarified okay so we have created a style for list also you create a style for list also. Understand? Okay. And while you okay, next one level for third level, I have not designed. For third level, I have not designed. So I'm going to press tab one more. I'm going to press tab one more. So you got that small is coming or not? Because I've I have not designed that. I have not designed that. In a list, how will come back? Level back. Shift tab. Shift tab here come to the list uh, number and press shift tab coming back or not okay so in a list you can go forward go forward by tab go back by shift tab so we have created a style for a number of things all right now next one task is we want don't do this talk talk please stop that okay next one here is right now the style is there if I want to we have done modification also or not right now I want to delete a style I want to delete a style. The style can be deleted from two places. One is it can be deleted from quick style pen. And in the front which is showing that is a quick style pen. Okay. Or quick style gallery. This is a quick style gallery. The style can be deleted from here. Or the style can be permanently deleted from the computer. Okay. From the word document. Here if I am going to go over there and I am going to remove this style I don't need here. So go over and remove is here or not remove is there or not remove from quick style gallery removed or not right no but the style is available the style is there where it is there so go over there and that is my 
para formatting is there or not you want to apply so look over here my para formatting okay or which one my full fetch oh my book title what was that or the style which was there okay so right now you this is if a style my full fetch formatting available here or not if i'm going to remove here remove from quick style gallery right now it will be available in quick it will be available in in a style task pen go over there and you can see that here my full fetch style is there or not okay and i can apply from here or not okay but clear all yeah okay right now you if you want to delete that so also possible available delete my full fetch style is there or not delete my full fetch style is there or not click on that and style is going to be permanently deleted from your computer okay if a style is there and you want that it will be because here in a quick in a quick style gallery list is small space is less so all the style cannot fit it over here those which are used to style will be available here those which are used to style will be available over here but if you want that a style is going to be removed from a quick style gallery or style is going to be added to the quick style gallery possible to do so how i am going to remove a style this one is my title so right click on that and remove from a quick style gallery and the name of that is what first of all check the name my title what is that my title so i am going to right click on that and remove from that done it has been removed here where it is available my title is available here or not right click on that and you can again add to the quick style gallery or not again you can add to the quick style gallery or not or if you want to delete it so also possible permanently delete it from computer clarified okay so we have talked about the style too much we have created a style we have modified a style we have deleted a style furthermore we have created a style for four things one is for paragraph one is for character one is for link text means paragraph and character and fourth one is for list okay and last one table is left table while we discuss a table then in insert tab table is there okay and table also have a style i'm going to create one table and you will see it have a style okay look over here i'm going to create a table table created but go over there these are the styles for table so we are going to create a style for that also but right now these are some built in styles built in styles understand okay so for four, uh, for four things we have created a style and enough got that okay so styles are also available here and if you want to clear formatting if you want to clear formatting if style is there and you want make it normal so here clear all is there and it is coming to the normal clear all making it normal clear all clear okay so that was the style and i am going to stop the recording